A typical day for me depends on the project that I'm working on. Most days I wake up between 6 and 7 a.m. I read. Uh, right now I'm working through the book of Psalms and then either start looking through an essay or a topic that I'm researching and this helps me get into a, a state of flow or feeling inspired for the next part of my day um, which is either planning or modeling a, a new project that I'm working on or a new series. A typical day for me is waking up at 6 or a little before, reading the Bible and praying for about 20 minutes, and then starting work in the studio garage that Martin and I share. Um, I do that until about 9 a.m., and then I walk the dogs with Miranda and eat oatmeal with her, and then I go back to studio and work until about noon. I am originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. From. I am from Columbia, Missouri, and I lived in Kansas City for about nine years where I met Brandon. There are lots of things I can't live without, but because I don't really care for a lot of materialistic things, or clothes or anything like that but I think more and more I realize how much I depend on the internet um, it's just kind of where I'm able to look up everything that I need to know and watch YouTube videos about what I can learn and so I think that's just opened up a lot of possibilities in our practices that's really valuable so I don't think I could, could go without that for very long how about you, Oliver? I think it would be very hard for me to live without your encouragement, Miranda. I think that that's a major keystone in my life, is how much you believe in me and encourage me to keep going every day, even when it's hard. I think my favorite book right now, and something that I've been reading for almost two years on and off, is a book called Shadow Makers by Stephen Kite and it is a compilation of the way shadows have been used in architecture for the last 500 years um, and that's really crucial in my studio practice and the way that I am building work that is sensitive to light and shadow. How about you Oliver? since you read every day so yeah, much. <laughs> so I, uh, I do listen to audiobooks almost every day, so I do get through a pretty considerable amount of material. Um, some of the books I listen to are fictional and some are fiction, so it just kind of depends on if I'm wanting something a little bit more highbrow or really lowbrow. Um, but anyhow, I, I took a class on Moby Dick in college, and ever since then, that has been my favorite book. Just being able to spend the whole semester diving into it was made it very accessible and just all the minute details in that book are really incredible. So, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. I think balance, I mean, other than being heroic or full of valor, I believe it means continuing down the path that you believe in, even when no one else can see your vision. How about you, Oliver? Balance to me means pursuing something that is challenging and hard with the hope that it will pay off and it's not fruitless. 